Okay, so when foam rolling the lower back, it's important to keep note that you want your shoulders above your hips the entire time. Okay, so I'm always going to be rolling up and down the roller, but the, my shoulders are never going to extend below my hips. Okay, so core's nice and tight. What I'm going to do is gently roll the foam roller up and down my back. If I run out of floor behind me, I can always move my feet a little bit to keep up with the foam roller and keep my knees at about 90 degrees. Okay, we're looking for a sore part of the muscle to really massage into a little bit deeper with the roller. That's your lower back foam roll. When focusing on the specific parts of the lower back, it's important to note that you don't want to ever go too low to the point where you feel the foam roller rubbing over your coccyx. So you want to stay between the middle and the upper back twist or even put your elbow down on the floor for a little bit of support and just work up and down the spine either side or up and down the back either side of the spine so i'm just trying to get to the meaty part of that muscle my spinal erectors and really try and find a part that i find a little bit painful to roll over when i found it i'm just going to stay there push and breathe into the foam roll a little bit work my way around it so it's almost like a sports massage and then move on to another area, okay? I can do that on both sides, just up and down the back. 